Alright, I know I did that just 2 days ago, but because the theme was proved better than any expectations, I will redo it properly by getting all the color variants from GitHub. It takes less than 5 minutes, so let's start! And I'm starting with a single variant that I have placed under dot themes, and I have already set the flat pack permissions. Next move is to go on GitHub repository, and let me tile that with shell awesome tiling capabilities, not! And open a terminal too! And let's also tile that! Then we need to clone the repository! So just a standard git clone! And the name! And get inside on master branch! Then, to actually build it we need some dependencies, which isn't something a lot! I have them already, so let's proceed to the configuration! First we need to call the install.sh script, and then we'll set the parameters of our desire! So, the first option is the destination folder, that will leave it as it is, under dot themes! The second option is to pick a theme name, and again we'll leave it default, white sore. Next we can set the color variant, and here I want the script to only generate the dark theme, so I'll say, hyphen C and dark. And we really really don't want the opacity, so I'll say, hyphen O and solid only. Then, we can specify the title button's controls, and I'm going to use only the standards. So hyphen A and standard. And next is the truly cool part, that we can create color variants. And I'm not sure yet why GNOME isn't supporting this already. So here I'm gonna say, hyphen T, and generate all the colors. Blue, purple, pink, red, orange, yellow, green, and gray. And that will basically generate 8 different themes, one for each color. So clearly GTK doesn't support such feature. Okay, next is the shell panel opacity but I don't really care for the shell theme in GNOME 40! And then we have GNOME files sidebar width! What's happening here is that the theme is using an asset to make that effect to the header bar! And that asset size is hard-coded, so if we scale the sidebar it will overflow like this! The default width is 200 pixels which is ok, but I would prefer to set it to 220! However the installation script currently bugs if we change this value! So for now I will leave it as it is! Next we have again shell stuff that I don't care! And then is a GDM theming, that the accurate expression is I don't give a shit! Especially when requires sudo! So that was everything pretty much, and the best part is that the script will build everything immediately! Boom! All done! So if we now look on dot themes, we have all the themes generated as expected! And next we can just open the tweaks app to set the one we want! And I'm gonna open it with style, because I can, and you cannot! And some small off vocal demonstration, because Amazon charges like there is no tomorrow, and one piece gets all the revenue! But we all know what everyone's desires the most, don't we? Eiko, can you cry? Boo-hoo! I mean... Booyah! <laughs> <laughs>